Shelly friends, thanks so much for joining me at my channel and for a second look at the Shadow High series. Today we're going to jump straight in to Heather Grayson. Okay, and here is Heather with her extra outfits and on her stand with her comb and she has a lighter stand. So Heather has bluish eyes, very similar to Natasha's. In fact, we will get Natasha to compare. Um, so here is Natasha. And let's see. Actually, no, Natasha's are more of a turquoise. And as you can see, Heather's has a bit more of a purple blue in them. Wondering how close they are to Chanel's. All right. Okay, they're very similar. Looking closely at Heather's lips, you can see they have definitely a lot of glitter. The paint is black, but the glitter has definitely kind of a midnight blue and purple, along with her eyebrows. If you look at her eyebrows, they also have that same shimmer to it, only the paint is more of a gray. She also has some glitter along her eyes. You can see there, like a white glitter. And moving along, we have some really cool, like bone earrings. Definitely her theme is kind of a punk grunge vibe. She has these metal rings in her hair. One of them has an H, some uh, safety pins on each side. Then she has a choker necklace, which is so fun. That is so much like the 90s, this punk choker with studs on it or spikes on it. And looking at her dress, it is the um, snake print, kind of that faux snake leather with a zipper going down, but it's a faux zipper and all the zippers on, on their outfits are faux zippers. And then it has kind of a zigzag zipper going down this way. And then you also can see the black accent here, which goes along with her hair. As you probably already noticed, it's half black half white which is really cool but then I love this detail in the middle of her hair it's like it's throwing off the lighting um, she has a gray streak going into both sides so that is kind of cool and then she also has and I I don't really know the history behind this style but she has this additional strand of hair on each side attached with a ring. And these also have a grayish highlight. Now, she doesn't go on the stand well with this jacket, but I love this jacket. This is the coolest thing ever. Um, it has these vertebrae, skeleton bones, and shoulder blades on the back. She's got bones in the arms, little faux zippers on the sleeves, shadow high, shadow high, and then the front, it has more zippers, some lacing up on the side, little waist buckles to bring it in, lacing up on the other side as well, and more faux zipper pockets all around. Just so cute and edgy she's very edgy and then the one thing though is her hair she has these strands coming down and they are really stiff and crunchy actually the black no they're both pretty crunchy the white's really bad and they're pinned to the elbows you can see that so that's kind of strange i'm gonna remove that elastic on there but um no, i didn't want to do it before the video Another thing I noticed, so she doesn't have any bracelets, but uh, she has a ring on her thumb, which I thought that was cool. The dress is held on by Velcro. Again, it goes pretty high up in the back, 
I'll admit, I, I wouldn't let my kid out of the house in this <laughs> in high school. Nope. But I, uh, I still think it's really fun. Um, and I like that she's got the jacket just kind of on her shoulder. She's not really wearing it. That's a really nice little touch for her. Oh, and then her shoes. Goodness, I can't forget her shoes. So her shoes, they have a snake that coils up the side, the um, heel, and then kind of is crawling on the side there. And then it's on the other side as well. So two different snakes. And then they're just white boots with kind of a little pearlescent reflection to it. So that's, that's really cool. And her outfit that she comes with is following the leather faux snake print leather pattern with her pants. And then she has this sheer material, kind of sheerish material shirt that's also in a snake skin pattern. And then this studded halter top that is a faux leather which really goes with her vibe and it looks to be studded all the way around again i'm leaving it on the stand yeah it's studded all the way around held on with velcro i'm kind of wondering to see if it'll actually fit her i feel like there's several times the second outfits just don't fit the dolls and i haven't experimented with that yet i'm just still enjoying them in their original outfits so i haven't changed them yet now for the shoes, which also goes with the leather, the snakeskin leather, has two straps, two black straps on the ankle, and then black heels. Oh, and look at the back of these, have a lace up and a bow. Now my bow is gray on one side and black on the other. Let's see if the other ones are like that other ones are not quite like that so mine just might have a funky paint job on that one but still really cool I love her cut her theme with the snake skin and that edgy kind of uh, grunge vibe it's really fun she is really really pretty and I'm really excited I have her as part of my collection here we have Ash Silverstone and I just think he's adorable. I love that Shadow High makes boy dolls. Uh, when I was a kid growing up, they just didn't have a lot of boy dolls in the market. So Ash has beautiful bluish turquoise eyes. Uh, and I feel like they might be very similar this time to Natasha's eyes. So we're gonna do that comparison really quick. Excuse me. Sorry. All right. Oh yeah, they're very similar in uh, color. So very, very similar. His is a little bit more turquoise than Natasha's, but generally they're in the same scheme. He has some cool sporty earbuds because he likes his tunes, though I don't think he actually has any player of any kind so unless it's built into the earbuds I'm not sure where he's getting his music <laughs> but if he's got it somewhere else he can hear it and then his hair is slicked back now I have seen some people kind of style the boy hair like it flips up and into the face and I would really like to do that with him if I could get it I probably have to get it wet and just curve it down but I think that would be really really cute so that is on my list of experiments for him to give him a little bit because all the boys are slicked back well just him and the blue boy but get it slicked onto the side all right on to his outfit he is wearing a sporty outfit and it has that slick sound like you would hear in kind of a windbreaker, running suit, track suit, I guess. I don't even know if it's still called that nowadays. Things change so much, who knows. But anyway, he has a coat. 
Oh, also I noticed his stand is different than the girls. It's got a wider, sturdier um, holder. And I think that could be the original design they had. I recall hearing that the Rainbow High stands have changed with some of the newer dolls. And I only have the newer dolls opened for now, so I don't know. Okay, so on his jacket, he's got some buckles and pockets. Lots of pockets. I do love how these guys and girls have just lots of storage in their clothing. And then he does have some writing on there, some numbers. I don't know the significance of the uh, characters or the number, 86, maybe 1986. I'm sure someone knows. And then Shadow High since 2022. That's kind of fun. They put the date on there. Um, I like it when toys reference the date and the names. I really like all that stuff. And then underneath his coat, it has a clear snap. And then he has this t-shirt that just says shadow, shadow, shadow. And it kind of gets darker. I'll have to lower. You can see that silver one. It's hard to see because all the others, yep, it gets blown out because of the lighting. All right, and then his pants have a really nice, whoa, the dude's got abs. Look at that, lucky guy. And then um, he's got a little drawstring here with a nice, comfortable cotton elastic waist. All your sports clothes should have that. And then the back has some like faux reflector lines. I mean, they look like they're supposed to be pockets, but they're just reflectors. And then he has little cargo style pockets on the side here and more reflectors. So, you know, this is a jogging suit. So when he's going out jogging, he's going to want cars to see him. So that makes, that makes a lot of sense. And then we have these great tennis shoes that say Doe, which I know is supposed to be shadow because here's Sha on this side sounds like some kind of lingo. Do y'all, do. And here we have a look at Ash's outfit that he comes with. There are a fair amount of buckles that go all the way down. And then a faux zipper. Oh, I didn't even realize this. It comes with a shirt on underneath with an astronaut. Oh, how cool. I love that. And it has just a little hint of blue in there that kind of goes with his eyes. It's, oh, it actually kind of changes. It's like a rainbow effect. That is so fun. I didn't even notice that. Now, I think it's separate. So the coat is just pinned on and I would have to cut that. It looks definitely like a letterman's jacket in a way with the sleeves like that. And then it says Eclipse. Oh, cool, Eclipse. And then this side also says Eclipse. Has the little cargo pockets on the side. So I took his outfit off of the cardboard because I wanted you to see that it has writing on the back. It says Shadow High. And I'm just assuming the characters must say Shadow High as well. And if you, if you know what it actually says, I'd love to hear your input. Now, the rest of his outfit is a pair of like kind of a sweatpant shorts. Kind of neat. The shorts have a little metal like grommets for the drawstring. That's a really nice little detail. Um, again, the Rainbow High, Shadow High line demonstrating just paying attention to those little details. They, they don't have to but they do, and I really appreciate that. And then they have the cargo pockets, also have little silver buck buckles, and then the back. Then he has like jogging leggings. I don't know what they would be for boys, jogging pants. Uh, but then he's got some crazy zippers on the knees. Um, <laughs> I think that's just the detail actually has a hole in there um, for his knees to come out. I guess to air out his knees when they get hot from jogging. 
I don't know, just a trend. Now his shoes are plastic, of course, no laces. And it says shadow high around the front. And then the side, oh, okay, it just says Los Angeles, California, USA 2022. I don't know if that's supposed to be a detail of the shoe or just copywriting. I mean, anyone, it's on both shoes. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be part of the detail. And then it's split in the back to help get it on and off. And that was a look at Ash Silverstone. Now we're gonna move on to Luna Madison. Very excited about Luna. Here is Luna Madison with her extra outfit. And I am really surprised by how much I really, really like her. She is gorgeous. Uh, I really wasn't too into her outfit initially. I thought it looked kind of silly on the hips. But when I get her in person and see her amazing boots with her silver shiny socks and then her kind of, I don't know, spacey looking outfit, she just, she has a great little space time vibe. Okay, Luna has beautiful pinkish purple eyes. I love her eye color so much so pretty and her lips are just black um they they have a tiny bit of a sh silver sheen i guess but no hints of color then her eyes we can move her hair she has just kind of a silvery white makeup with the kind of that lighter white glitter on the inner part of the eye much like the other dolls uh, have that detail and then her earrings are the same exact design of earrings as um, Laurel and Holly's earrings, the second pair of earrings. It's just hers are kind of a gray, dark gray with silver. And then I, I wanna move into her gloves. These are the coolest. I love them. I love fingerless gloves. And she has them on both hands and whoop. Then she has bracelets on both hands, which I really, really like. One bracelet says shadow on it. So there's that bracelet. And then the other one is just a little chain, like a chain band. But I love that detail and her fingers. So we have silver here for Luna. And then um, looking at her hair really quick. Now I know she is said to be, I think Sunny's twin, and that's reflected definitely in the hair. I mean, she's basically Sunny in grayscale with the face mold. I actually don't know what color eyes Sunny has. I don't have Sunny. I might have to change that. But um, the hairstyle is pretty much the same as Sunny's with the little poofs at the top. And I think it's really cute. Um, her hair is a grayish silver, definitely more on the silver side with some darker highlights of gray mixed in there, but it's very shiny. And overall, it's actually pretty soft. The only part that's goopy, oops, she's fallen off the stand here. She has some stiffer sections in these front curls. They are, Pretty crunchy but if you're just using them for display it's not a big deal I think I don't know it's everyone's gonna have their own opinion on that I'm probably just gonna leave them since I'm okay I'm happy with the rest of her hair all right let's look into her outfit some more she has it's held up with a strap around her neck in the back actually it's not around her neck it goes and attaches to the back of her dress, which you can see the silver reflection. It has like these little details here in the back. I don't know what those are supposed to represent, but they're there like metal grommets, I guess. I don't know. And then it flares out at the hip, but it continues on. So like it's a one piece jumper with like shorts underneath. 
And then it just has this flare out at the hip, which is, it's a pretty interesting design choice. <laughs> but hey, it's, that's her. And then moving up, we will look at her boots, which are just so cool looking. I really do like these. They're very just strappy buckles all the way up, all the way down. And then she's wearing um, some silver socks all the way up with them. And then the back has kind of this central support post that goes kind of follows the line all the way down to her heels. I just think these are really amazing boots. I love them so much. I, I just love how different she looks from even Heather, just a completely different personality displayed in her style alone. And I, I just love that. I don't even have to watch the show to recognize there's definitely a difference in personality. Okay, let's take a look at her extra outfits. Luna's outfit that she comes with is kind of keeping with the theme that she has already with that metallic silver look, uh, at least in the jacket. It has kind of that same material and has the zippers that's really common in the, um, the Shadow High collection. A lot of the characters have a lot of zippers. And it has a bit of a Letterman look with the different colored sleeve. It says shadow, shadow, and then shadow, shadow on the sleeves. She has a buckle, a waist buckle that goes across on the jacket, a little side pocket, but this Velcro's in the back. So it'll be really easy to get on and off, which is nice, very nice. Now the dress, I just love it. It's like this pinstripe kind of vibe dress with silver stitching and it has some buttons. One of them looks to be either in the wrong place or about to fall off. We'll have to examine that. And again, that Velcro's in the back as well. And it's gonna be a shorter dress, like most of their clothes, pretty short, but still really cute, cute look. All right, now for the shoes. They are black heels. So it has this really thick metal looking strap in the front. I mean, it really just looks like a big strap of metal with this pretty substantial buckle right here, as you can see right there. Back of this shoe kind of has another bit of a detail of buckles. Like that front strap is secured with these buckles in the back. So that's, that's pretty cool. Very hardy, very hardy shoes. The heels, of course, might break your ankles, but the straps, straps are really hardy. And that was a look at Luna Madison. She's beautiful, love her, definitely think she's worth it. Highly recommend. If you can't get them all, which I understand, that's quite a hefty cost to get them all, but I highly recommend checking them out, getting maybe one, two. Uh, I have to say, if I had to choose only one, if I was only allowed to purchase one Shadow High doll, it would definitely be Chanel. She is number one gorgeous. So anyway, that is my Shadow High crew. And thanks so much for watching. And um, look forward to more unboxings of Rainbow High because I sort of am now an addict and have tons of them to unbox. And hopefully you'll join me for those. And now let's take a look at the close-ups, which is personally my favorite part.